Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. Okay, so I'm hopping on this vlog at the beginning because I want to quickly clarify and kind of announce what I'm doing because I feel like I started this vlog very abruptly and I didn't really explain um, what I'm doing but if you guys don't follow on Instagram then you don't know but I announced it today as I'm posting this vlog um, but I am actually starting weekly vlogs from now on but you guys know if you've been following this YouTube or subscribed to this channel for a while I vlog all the time vlogging is like my favorite thing to do out of all types of videos um, I feel like I usually though vlog trips that I go on or specific events or things like that like I don't really weekly vlog like have a necessarily a schedule um, um, but now that I have moved in to this new apartment and I'm more on a proper schedule It's just kind of been my goal throughout ever starting my YouTube channel that I would do weekly vlogs or more like frequent vlogs Not necessarily daily vlogs, but definitely like weekly or bi-weekly. So yeah, I am officially starting weekly vlogs from now on So I'm definitely going to be bringing you guys a lot more into my life Which is so fun. You guys can kind of see more of my day-to-day -day life and not so much curated content weekly vlogs I feel like are gonna be definitely more raw and unedited and more chill and kind of like really bringing you like I said into my life more but by weekly vlogs I mean I'm not gonna necessarily be filming my exact entire week every time it might be just like a full day that I do and I post that day or a compilation of like a few days or it might be a full week it's just gonna kind of be like what I feel like filming that week or whatever so yeah I'm really excited to start this new little chapter here on the channel and if you guys are watching this live I actually just hit 50,000 subscribers yesterday so I felt like it was just like a good time to start weekly vlogging and bring you guys a little bit more into my life now that you guys know a lot about us you know about Pippa now you know obviously you guys know Steven if you guys are following the other vlogs and stuff so it's just gonna be the three of us me Pippa Steven um, just living our best life here in our cute little apartment and taking you guys along the ride But anyways, that's why I wanted to quickly hop on at the beginning of this vlog to clarify everything I think the next clip is us getting our bed and our chair for our furniture So it's us like putting it together and stuff like that So yeah, this vlog is pretty much just like a compilation of a ton of stuff that we did this week for the apartment around the house um, we have been in quarantine and isolation all week, so it's a lot of at-home footage, which is all good because we are social distancing, right, Pips? Totally. Pip is honestly thriving in this quarantine situation, so. So am I, honestly. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog, and I hope you guys are excited about me weekly vlogging and starting to do this a little bit more often. So, anyways, let's get on with the vlog. Hi guys, we are actually getting our first delivery of furniture, which is amazing. We are getting in our bed frame today, as well as our Sherpa chair, which I've been showing you guys and I've been so excited about. So they're actually gonna be here in like 10 minutes, so I thought I would start the vlog here, kick it off, and show you guys how we install everything into the apartment, where I put it. I'll give you guys a review when it gets in, see how I like it, first impression. And also, we will be putting in our new bedding as well. We got a bunch of new linens for our bed, but we've been holding off because I wanted to wait until we got our bed frame. So we finally have our bed frame here today and I can put in that as well. So it's gonna be kind of like an update on everything that's coming in today and I can't wait to show you guys. Right, cool. Dad, this is true. Thank you so room. much. Thank you. Go ahead. I think you might need to open the other yeah, side. Open Thank you so much. See, maybe you go up. Okay, so we just got in our delivery here. It came in four separate boxes. So this is the bed frame, and then this is obviously the chair. So we now have to build it all and put it into the room and everything. So wish us luck. Oh, God. Ok, 
Okay guys, here is the chair. I don't want to touch it because my hands are probably dirty from opening the boxes, but it is so freaking cute. We just have to put on the legs on it um, and then it'll be completely done. And then we just took out all of what was in the boxes and all of the pieces are in here now. This is what the baseboard or like the backboard looks like. It's so cute. It's pretty much like a white leathery material if you can tell like that, but we thought it was really simple, but still a little bit modern, but also kind of vintage-y looking as well. We just wanted something simple, but still interesting. So we really love the bed frame so far. Now we have to put all of it together, and then I think this is the baseboard and everything. So wish us luck. Silly girl. <laughs> Okay, you guys, we finally finished it. A few hours later, we have completely installed our bed, which is so exciting, I'll turn the lights on. Um, but yeah, we think it looks so good. We love the shape of it. We love how um, somewhat low to the ground it is. We really wanted that kind of Japanese style low bed, so we think it looks so cute. Why isn't this focusing? Yeah, we are so obsessed with it. I think it looks really good with the room. Um, we have not put our new bed sheets on it yet though because we wanna do like a big load of laundry before we put it on, so we're gonna do that now. So then tonight we can sleep in fresh sheets and have a fully fresh bed, so. That's what it looks like though, I really like it. It's like exactly what we wanted, so it's perfect. Meanwhile, here in the living room, Steven is working on the chair. It's almost done. I think it's gonna look really, really cute. We have to get rid of this, which is just so sabotage, you guys. And then Queen Pip over here is just hanging out. Oh my gosh. She's just hanging out. <laughs> Pippa will never have to lift a paw in this apartment, so she's just totally the queen. Hanging out as we are. <laughs> Working away here. She's the queen and we're the star people. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, it's so comfortable. Actually so comfortable. And it's so cute. Yay! Okay, so now I'm going to unbox all of the new bedding that we are gonna put on to the bed. We're just gonna use our old bedding for guests now and just do a wash of that and then keep it in storage um, for when guests visit us. But we are now going to open up this huge package from Parachute Home. They, they were so nice and sent over a ton of new stuff for our bed and also the bathroom. So I'm gonna start out with the bed stuff. I'm gonna throw everything in the wash just so it's like fresh sheets for when we go into bed tonight. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys like the packaging before because it's honestly, I feel like it's too pretty to open up because like look how luxurious this packaging is. I can't get over it, but anyways, I'm gonna have to open it eventually and it's been sitting here for I feel like two, three weeks now because we've been waiting in for our bed, so I'm super excited to open it up. So I'm literally just taking everything out of the packaging. You guys, it's so sad because like I said, it's like the nicest packaging. Like look how cute that is. I, it hurts me, it pains me to open it. But you gotta wash it before we use it. But like, look how beautiful this packaging is. I'm dying over it. I think we could probably keep it and reuse it for when we store it, if we ever switch it out for a different color or something. But like, and it's good for like garment bags. Oh my God, we have sheets. We didn't even have a sheet before, it's so funny. And this is another top sheet. 
and then where is our duvet cover? Okay, so we just cleaned up all of the boxes and this is what the final result is. Here's a good look at the chair. I think it's so cute. And then obviously it pairs really cute with the mirror. We're gonna be putting our couch over here, I think, and then this chair will probably go here or here eventually, but just for now, we're gonna set it up here so it looks good in the meantime. And then if we head over to the bedroom, um, Pippa has already made the bed her castle, um, but yet we're still waiting for the um, linen to be cleaned. So the new bedding's in the wash, so this is just the old bedding, and Pippa has already made the bed her castle. Oh my God, Steven, I can't look at her face. Oh my goodness. You guys, I think Pippa likes it. Do you like it, Pips? Do you like it? Oh, you like it. She loves like textured like places to sit and this is so her texture, you guys. <laughs> she, we literally placed it and she went right on it. Where are you going? Oh. Good morning, guys. So it is the next day, obviously, and I'm just about to make myself some coffee. And since this is the first kind of like weekly, daily vlog, um, I thought I'd show you guys my coffee routine because this is what I do every morning. I've showed you guys on Instagram stories, but I've never showed you on YouTube yet. So I'm gonna show you guys. So I guess first off, I'll show you guys all of my appliances to make my coffee. So. The first thing is my kettle and I love my new kettle. I just got it off Amazon and I've actually talked to you guys about how I was deciding whether or not I was gonna invest in appliances or not, or like my toaster and my kettle. Um, and originally I looked at the Smeg options, which are like a couple hundred dollars per piece. Um, but me and Steven decided that we'd rather invest our money in other things or save that money and put it towards other things. Um, so we ended up getting some Smeg dupes off of Amazon and I think they're so freaking cute. Um, they definitely just do the job and they look pretty identical So we thought that it was just like a smarter choice financially, I guess to do that and save our money So anyways guys are about like 50 bucks on Amazon each so Obviously way more affordable than the smeg options, but anyways, I really like them So so the first thing I do is I put water in my kettle and then I just turn it on and let that boil. And then while that is going, I will grab my French press and then I will also grab coffee from my cabinet. I'm currently using this coffee here. It's from Costco. Um, sometimes I use any type of ground coffee, honestly, but I usually get like the Starbucks one or the Tim Hortons one. Um, but this one was at Costco and my mom said she really liked it. So I decided to give it a try. It's my first time trying it. Um, but I'm honestly not the biggest coffee snob or anything. As long as it's ground coffee to work with my French press, works for me. Okay, so pretty much what I do is I open it, obviously. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I use these. They're called grip sticks, and they pretty much like vacuum seal all of your open bags, like your chips and your coffee and everything. They're so good. I got them when I was down in the States, so I'm not sure where you can find them, but I'll try to find them online for you guys. But it's like life-changing. It's so easy. All you do is just like slip it onto your bag, and it like vacuum seals it. But anyways, <laughs> so pretty much what I do is I usually make two cups of coffee because I'll make one for Steven and one for me. Um, so I'm just going to pretty much do two scoops of the ground coffee into the French press. And then once the water is boiled, I just pour it in. And then obviously stick my little cap on there. And then I'm gonna leave it for like four minutes to like really soak and do its job and then in the meantime I'm going to take my milk frother um, and I'm going to plug that in so I'll unplug Ow. and then plug this in and then I'm gonna get some milk to put in my frother and honestly you can use any milk you want dairy free or non dairy I just use Steven's milk because he has cereal like 12 times a day, so he buys like the giant milk can. So I'm just gonna use that for this morning, but honestly, like any milk works. And then once that is filled to the right spot, you just press the button. It's like the easiest thing, you guys. And then while you let that froth, I'm going to push this down. So for my mugs, I obviously have a ton of mugs, but I think I'm gonna go for these ones this morning because I think they're so cute. 
And I like how big they are, honestly. So, that one and that one. And then while the milk frother is really going there, um, it's gonna be almost done, but I'm just going to now pour my French press into the cups. And then now that the milk frother is done, I'm gonna pour that in. And voila. Okay, and now that the coffees are pretty much done, I have one last step. That is a step that you can't miss. I mean, if you don't eat honey, then you don't need to, but if you do like honey, and you haven't put honey on your coffee yet, you are missing out, you guys. So good. And I pretty much just drizzled that all over the top. So that is my little <laughs> coffee tutorial. That's pretty much what I do every morning. Like I said, I use sometimes different coffees, but um, other than that, that is pretty much my basic routine every single morning. I usually am the one to wake up first because I'm an early riser, so I always make Steven a cup of coffee and then myself, and I bring it to him to wake him up and then we get our day started. Morning. Okay, so it's a little bit later in the day. As you can tell, I glowed up a bit. I put makeup on and did my hair. Um, and pretty much all today, I just cleaned the house or cleaned the apartment and Steven and I did that all day. So I didn't really film anything because it was kind of boring. We literally were like, I cleaned out my whole bathroom. I cleaned out the living room and just vacuumed and honestly like washed everything down and everything because you just gotta do that once in a while. But anyways, um, right now I'm about to shoot a little campaign um, for a company that I'm working with. Um, so I thought I would just kind of take you guys along for that um, and show you guys like the behind the scenes. I'm currently just wearing a robe because I have to change still. But also, before I do that, I wanted to show you guys. I got in my mini fridge today and yeah, I got in my mini fridge today and you guys, I've been waiting for this package to come in for so long now. And she's here, so excited. It's so cute, it's from Urban Outfitters Home um, and it's by the brand Kululi, you can see right here. Um, but I'm actually gonna be filming like a full um, what's in my beauty fridge and what's in my beauty cabinet I think tomorrow. So if this vlog is up before then or after then it's up, it's gonna be up soon or I'll have a link down below if it's already up. But it's so cute, I'll give you guys a little sneak peek into it. Um, but I love it and I'm so excited. I've been literally, this was like kind of like the last big piece in my bathroom that I needed. So yeah, and then I also, I don't know if I showed this on the vlog yet, but I also um, got in this rug, this little bath mat. It's from also Urban Outfitters Home and it says get naked and I think it's so cute. Um, and it just kind of completes the bathroom a little bit and the black on the rug kind of ties in with the black on the fridge, so. That's the vibe. Yeah, like I said, I'm just kind of getting ready to shoot a few things. Um, the sun is only out in Vancouver for the next few days and then it's gonna be raining for a while. So I wanted to get a few more golden hour shots before the sun is gone and just get a few more um, photos to have ready to go. Um, so when the weather goes a little bit bad, I can chillax a little bit and do more like YouTube videos and admin stuff. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the behind the scenes of that because I'm currently in a robe But I have to change into a little outfit to do some Instagram stories for a brand that I have to do And then I'm gonna shoot some golden hour shots with some skincare because um, I'm gonna use those photos to promote the Instagram I mean to promote the YouTube video about all of my skincare and stuff So everything always ties together, but I don't know I'm trying to get used to this whole like vlogging thing because you guys are gonna start really seeing all of my life and everything like my daily and weekly life now I guess so which is pretty fun but Yeah, it's hard because I Instagram story as well during the day and it's hard to kind of balance vlogging and Instagram story because you don't want to share the same stuff on both platforms but you also want to share everything on both without giving away too much because you still want people to watch the vlogs anyways First world problems. I got a package in the mail from this really cute sweatsuit brand um, that I've been wanting to get for so long. So I think I'm gonna wear that for the little Instagram story because honestly, I kinda wanna wear that for the rest of the night. Um, but it's just really cute, so I thought I'd throw it on, but I'll show you guys. It's by the brand TU, as you can see. Um, they're such nice sweatsuits and sweatshirts and stuff. It's a matching little tracksuit. Um, and then I also got it in the cream with like the blue 
writing on it. I think it's so cute. And then I also got this extra gray sweater as well. So I think I'm going to probably shoot this maybe tomorrow or the next day. Um, but for tonight, I'll just throw this guy on. So Okay, so I realized that the hoodie's neckline is just too tight for my hairstyle right now. And I spent the time to do it, so I'm not going to ruin it. You guys probably understand. Um, but this is what I am talking about my Instagram stories today. So I've actually just got a ton of new cases from one of my favorite case brand, um, Ideal of Sweden. I've worked with them before a while ago, um, but they reached out again about this new um, launch that they're having. So obviously I'm down because they're so cute and who doesn't like phone cases? Um, and Pippa's obviously here. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my God, did you guys see that? I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh my God, I just scared the living shit out of her. Hi guys, so welcome back to the vlog. So today is Saturday and I have to clean up this apartment today. So I thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along the vlog and show you guys how I go from a disaster of a room and apartment to be honest with you. Here, I'll show you guys. Like, just not cute, you guys. I know it could be way worse, obviously. I know it could be worse, but um, we definitely have some <laughs> laundry to do. And I mean, my bathroom's not too bad. It's pretty good actually, not gonna lie. But um, we have some work to do. So that is what we're tackling today. So I thought I would just continue this vlog um, on today and tomorrow since it's now the weekend. I thought I'd show you guys a little weekend in our life and continue the vlog today. So gotta get to work and clean this freaking apartment. The first thing I like to do when I wake up is make our bed because it just like makes you feel better. For the rest of the day, it makes you feel like you've accomplished something for the day. As you can see, I obviously just showered and stuff. Um, and I'm gonna make the bed before I do anything else. Now that the house is or the apartment is clean I feel so much better and I'm going to do my makeup for the rest of the day because I'm gonna get ready to shoot some Instagram photos because tonight is gonna be like the last golden hour beautiful sunset for the next like couple days to a week potentially because apparently a big stormy cloud is coming to Vancouver for the next few days so I'm going to pre-shoot a few things so I have some content while it's dark and gloomy out um, so I'm just gonna do my makeup but I thought I would sit you guys down for a sec does that work okay whatever um i'm currently sitting on my floor if you're wondering because it is just so nice out and i wanted to enjoy the sunshine while i do my makeup but i easily could be doing it in my room right now um but before i did my makeup i wanted to tell you guys because actually this morning i didn't vlog it because we were just like really busy this morning but me nitz and sophie the three of us we launched a facetime series um which has been so long coming i feel like we have been planning this series for so long it's pretty much a podcast but visual so we wanted to do something together for a really long time kind of like a podcast type thing or like a youtube channel together or just something that we could do collabor collaboratively that a word um together um because we always travel together and you guys know we're like best friends and we always are shooting content together and stuff so we wanted to do a bigger project together anyways moral of the story we came up with the concept of a facetime series so it's pretty much like we record our facetimes and um you guys the viewer gets to listen in on our girl chat and on our gossip and just like pretty much be a part of our facetimes because that's Pretty much how we met and how we always talk because you guys know we all live in different cities so if you guys don't know that me and my three best friends um we all live in different cities so we're always on facetime all day every day so we thought it would just be fun to now record it for you guys to see and like take it to the big screen which is igtv 
So I'll show you guys the Instagram. It's so cute. The podcast slash FaceTime series is called That's So Sabotage. And it is so cute, you guys. It's like everything we want and more. It's so PFG, so fun. And it's just gonna be like a really fun way to connect with you guys, talk about the latest gossip in the world, pop culture. Literally everything and anything is gonna be on this FaceTime series. So it's just gonna be super fun. Here, I'll show you guys. We already posted the first two episodes this morning when we launched, so I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of, wait, I'm gonna turn the music on. It's so freaking cute, you guys. How cute is that? So that's a little intro. Hello. And then obviously you can Hi, see all of us on FaceTime. Welcome. FaceTime, FaceTime series. FaceTime so cute. Series. So if you guys want to go watch that, um, definitely follow the Instagram because there's going to be a ton of things coming and new episodes are going to drop every Monday. So it's just kind of like a fun little side project that I obviously get to do with the girls besides my own YouTube and my own social and stuff like that. It's just going to be like a fun BFF side project. So if you guys want to keep up with that and keep up with all of the episodes and everything and binge watch it while you're in quarantine, I'll leave it down below. Anyway, so that is something new and exciting to look forward to. Um, like I said, new episodes every Monday. Yeah, anyways, I'm going to now do my makeup because your girl is not looking too cute today. But yeah, I'm having so much fun, you guys. Now that I've started weekly vlogging, I feel like this is gonna be so much fun and you guys are gonna see so much more of my life and like my everyday stuff because I feel like usually I like post in, um, YouTube videos obviously like once a week and it's usually more of like a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's very like curated, I guess you could say, and it's always like a specific idea. Um, but now I get to just vlog everything and you guys get to follow along my life and it's more of like a little, more so like more interactive with you guys and you guys can really keep up with my everyday life. So I'm having a lot of fun with it. I hope you guys are excited about the weekly vlogs and the daily vlogs and everything like that. So let me know because I'm excited. So I'm obviously not gonna go step by step with you guys because I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a full um, everyday makeup routine. Why can't I find my other clip? Oh, here it is. Um, I'm gonna do like a full makeup routine. Um, so I'm not gonna bore you in this video and I'll save it for another one, but I'll just do a little time lapse and you guys can watch me go from this to somewhat decent. Okay, we're done, love that. Also you guys, I have to tell you about this mascara that I started using because you guys know that I've been on a lash rehab. I recently took my lashes off, like my lash extensions off and I obviously am now in the market for mascara which I haven't been for like two, three years which is crazy to say. Um, but I had like a PR box full of mascara that I kind of like saved. Anyways, I pulled this one out and started using it and it is crazy you guys. Like. My lashes, oh, let me show you. I did this on Instagram stories and you guys freaked out about it. Hold on, I don't know how to show you like in the best way possible here. But as you can see, like, it's crazy. It's crazy, I'm just saying. This is sponsored, I wish it was sponsored because I am obsessed with this, but you guys have to check it out. It's the Maybelline Colossal Mascara and it's just stunning queen to say the least, so. Okay, I'm now going to be making myself some lunch because I have not eaten very much today. Actually, we had good breakfast. We ate some yummy breakfast, but this was a little while ago. So I'm now gonna make myself a sandwich for lunch before I get shooting because you guys, I cannot shoot content if I'm hungry. Like I, it just doesn't go well if I'm hungry. So we gotta eat before we do any type of shooting. I don't know if you guys already know this, but me and Steven are having chef wars and I'm currently losing. Did you hear what I said? No, I, I said me and you are having chef wars and I'm currently losing. Oh, yeah. Steven's actually a really good chef, you guys. I'm really no, surprised. No, like, I really thought that I was going to be the chef of the house, but so far, Steven is the chef. 
Okay, you get to. I know I'm good. I'm not taking away from it, but I'm just saying you're better as of right now. But things could change, you guys. Uh, things could change. Those Brussels sprouts? Yeah, I did make those the Brussels sprouts. Quiet. And my sandwich right now looks looking pretty good. So I'm just going to toast some bread. And then I'm gonna put some ham, guacamole, mayonnaise, and that's about it. Why was that so hard? All of our dishes are in the dishwasher right now, so I'm literally using like random stuff. Are you putting guac with mayonnaise? Yes, I am, Steven. I. <laughs> you can't judge until you try it. Don't knock it. You've had it before? Yes. I had it the other day. It was so good. I, uh, Don't I'm knock sorry. it till you try sorry, it. Sorry, sorry. I really make weird foods, you guys. It's fine. Five star meal, you guys. Five stars. Steven, do you want to try it? Do you want a taste test? Okay. Try it. Thank you. And? And? Oh, that's really good. Right? Really good. Right? Killed it. Steven doesn't want to be on camera right now, but his face is looking like he loves it. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just enjoying some dessert, you guys. And I'm obsessed with dried mango, and I get this huge bag from Costco, and it is so freaking good. So I'm currently just nomming on these as my dessert for lunch today, and I'm just snacking because I'm a snacker, if you didn't know. Um, and I'm also watching Madison Beer on live right now because she's so stunning queen. And she's currently live singing songs. So I want to watch for a little bit and then I'm going to get to work. I swear. But it's like I have to watch, you know? Okay guys, I got an Amazon package today because I ordered off Amazon yesterday and I went on a little bit of a psycho binge. Here, Nitz is here with me. My sisters. This is, this is the usual situation. Hence why we're starting a FaceTime series because I gave them the, la the down low on our FaceTime series. Oh, absolutely. So. Now, now you know. Now you know why we're doing a FaceTime series. Anywho, um, I'm here with Nitz and I'm doing an unboxing for her but I was like, might as well do it for the vlog as well because it's so interesting to see what people get on Amazon. So I just unboxed a ton of shit. And the first thing we got, ladies, which is just like everyone needs it. And if you don't know what it is, like you live under a rock. But I stocked up on everything but the bagel. And if you know, if you're from Canada, you know we don't have Trader Joe's, so you can't actually purchase it in store. So stocked up on two more on Amazon because my other one is just running low. And since I've been just cooking up a storm, I've been using it as my garnish or as my seasoning it's really on every meal. It's really easy to put it on everything. Exactly. Because then everything tastes good and you're like, oh shit. And then you're like, wow. Here's, here's the catch. Everything tastes the same. Everything, literally, exactly. It's just like so good. Also, Nitz is just enjoying her life right now, drinking her, yeah. her vino. Um, okay, next, I got some headphones because... When I edit my YouTube videos, Steven gets really annoyed because he's trying to record. So our audio is like intermix. So I need to get some good headphones to like edit my videos while he's, so he can work at the same time. So we can um, double whammy work. What else did I get? Oh, what Nitz is sta standing on. What Nitz is standing on right now, you guys. Okay, so Nitz was on this little iPhone stand, but like, look how crazy this is. So smart. Nitz actually told me about it, and so Nitz, since Nitz got it, You're I was like, right now, and, you know, exactly, and I'm on hers right now. It's so smart, and you can charge your phone through the stand and everything, so genius, and so good for, like, stories, and just honestly having your phone, like, le leaned up like that, obviously, it's just, like, so much easier, so got hey, that. You can charge it, sister, don't forget. What'd you say? You can charge it at the same time. And Yeah, yeah, you can charge it at the same time, just crazy, crazy stuff. And then last but not least, I got two jewelry holders and they're like makeup storage things. So the first one looks like this. It's huge and it's like a round thing. And I'm going to put it under my sink in my bathroom to put like 
all of my tanning supplies and all of like the access supplies that I have that's just like lying around and is creating clutter. And then I got another one, which is in the bathroom right now, but it's like um, a smaller version of that that's like squared. So got that. What else did I get? Did I get anything else? A cutting board because we didn't have a proper like shitty one that you can just like cut anything on. We've been using the one that Knits actually got us. That's like the marble one. But um, we can't do that because it's too nice to use for like an everyday cutting board. So I got like a giant white cutting board. Anywho, that is my Amazon haul. And um, see you guys later. <gasps> you wanna say bye to the, you wanna say bye to the vlog? Say bye. Toodaloo. Toodles. Good morning guys. It is now Sunday and me and Steven are having a full lazy day. Just chilling. It is Sunday fun day and we honestly have been working a lot lately during the weekends and during the week this past week. So we thought we would take Sunday off and just completely chill. No makeup Sunday, chilling in my pajamas. Not that I've been wearing anything else because we've been in quarantine, um, but we're just like having a full chill day and we think we're gonna watch a movie and just like binge watch movies all day. We woke up this morning and we had some coffee. Pips is here and we just kind of chilled out. We actually did this like challenge on Instagram that was so funny. I'll insert the video here. You have to bend your knees, I think. You want me to do this? I think it's a bend, yeah. Yeah, how's that? Okay, yeah, that's okay. better, so then I can, okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, that was good, okay. 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 I have to go like Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Just do whatever you gotta do. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, go, go, go. I can't see myself, okay. Okay, go, go. <laughs> Just go, just go, try, try, try. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> did like a acrobat challenge because I think there's like a ton of challenges going around here um, on Instagram because everyone's in self-isolation so they're trying to like keep people busy and stuff. Oh, Pippa trying to get out. <laughs> Pippa! Okay, I'm coming. Um, but there's like a ton of challenges going around to like, I guess, keep people busy in self-isolation and me and Steven tried out an acrobatic challenge and it was quite funny. So yeah, I think I'm just going to end the vlog here because I'm going to clock out of this vlog, finish it off, and then take the rest of the day off and just enjoy my Sunday because it is much needed and all of you guys deserve a little bit of time off to chill. Sundays are meant for that. And I also hope that you guys are just as excited about the weekly vlogs as I am. I'm just really excited to take you guys a lot more into my life and I'm just really excited to take you guys along for everything. So. I hope you guys are excited and we will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.